by defecting from her native Romania. She's here tonight with Constantine Panayit, who, the man who uh, helped her escape. Please welcome Nadia Comaneci. <laughs> Well, the first thing I was told was you didn't realize until you got here that we have a live audience with us here. So, but they're friendly folks. <laughs> they're friendly people, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, everything well? Are you feeling well? Did you have a good trip here and all that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear. Now, I, there's so many areas to cover. Could we? I mentioned the escape from Romania. Could we start with that and, and tell us? Um, uh, each of you, uh, how it happened, how it came about, because uh, th these are guarded. These were guarded borders with security police who were, who would shoot, I assume, if they found someone escaping. Right? Yeah. T tell, uh, tell what happened. Well, she can say something. I mean, she can speak English, but uh, well, that's I'm a comfort to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help her just in case. Sure. In case. So, so uh, between the two of you. Yeah. Sell, tell yes, something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say something resembling the story. Well, uh, I met Nadia two years ago mm -hmm. in Romania. And I was the second time to visit my mother. Right. You defected from Romania some yeah, years ago. Yeah, back in uh, 1980. Okay. And, uh, you know, she told me that time she wanted to, you know, escape from Romania. But I don't say, I'm going to help you this time because, you know, you got to have a plan. And those, uh, uh, right to the board that did anyone else know you were planning to do this? No. Your family? Did you able to Nobody. tell them? No. And and what would have happened had you been discovered trying to escape? What do you think would have happened? How did they shot me? Yeah. And uh, did you have any close calls? Did you see guards as you were escaping? No. None. No. And you, how did you do it? Did you uh, did you walk across the border? No, I drive a car. I have rented a car from Austria. Ah. Good. Well, they're a fine company. And there you go. You're ready to car, you? <laughs> if you had figured that out years ago, we just uh, head down to no, budget. When I, and when I help work. No, oh. when I when I do night back in 1980, I cross. Uh, you know, I swim like uh, one hour and a half. No, I don't understand even. This time, you know, I have all the plans, and you know, I just pick her from the border, from Hungary, and after that from Austria. Now, uh, have you been as surprised as everyone else by what's happened in your country since then? Uh, the, the revolution? Uh, has, were you surprised by it? The revolution started after, in one week after I come here. Mm -hmm. Now, does this mean you'll be able to go back now and visit? Yeah, I'll go back to visit, but I will stay here. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what do you like best about this country? Why did you want to come here? Uh, it was my dream to come in the States. I like the country, I like the people. Some of people like me. Huh? What, um, what, what were you able to take with you? Anything from Romania? Did you have to leave everything behind? Yes. Did you, did you bring anything at all? What about your gold medals? Uh, they are at home. Are they? I will bring here. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, is your family all right? Yes, they're, I spoke yesterday. And they're, they're doing okay. It was very hard for them, but... Yeah. Now, then you arrived in this country, and, and as you know, um, there was a lot of controversy because uh, there's been a lot of uh, negative reporting about you in the, in the press, primarily because of your relationship with, with Constantine. Uh, and and we, we don't want to rehash all this, but you're still, but uh, you've, you've taken, you've taken uh, some lumps in the, in, in the press. And specifically what happened, Constantine is, is married, has a family, and at a press conference, I think, in Florida, they asked you about that. They said, how do you feel that this, this man is married? And, and, and your quote was, and you have to live with this quote, I'm afraid, was, so what? And they, they, were, they, they, they took that rather badly. Uh, is that what you meant to say? Is that what you meant to imply? You know, the Miami press was very bad with me because I say, so what? Because he can be my manager. Uh -huh. Married doesn't matter. I, Stay with him because I want to help me because I don't know nobody here. Is is, is it a is it strictly a, a, a professional relationship between the two? No, it's a business relationship. Yeah, just <laughs> business. I mean, you know, I'm gonna 
I'm the one take care of her business, you know. I mean, a lot of people that, uh, looking for her, you know. So, like she says, she doesn't know nobody, you know. Yeah. She, she know me for two years, yeah. and uh, she wanted me to take care of her business. But about my family, you know, it's like uh, something wrong because. I speak to my wife uh, almost every day, you know. She says I uh, in Larry King's show, I never call, but I have the telephone bills and everything. She's pretty upset, I understand. Yeah, know. she's been going on shows and yeah. talking uh, quite a lot, uh, too. Yeah. Well, are you, are, have you, were you, how did you feel about the, the press coverage? Were you surprised by it? Were you upset by it? Uh, and yeah, I was upset, but, uh, you know, the press must uh, write uh, a bomb in the newspaper because they, Will not, uh, nobody will buy those things. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just reach under my desk and applaud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, are, are you worried that, that your, your you know, image is very important, with how people think about you, you know? And, and are you worried that your image has been, been hurt a lot by this and that you won't be able to repair it? Yeah. I, I will try. I know that some people like me here in, in the States and some people hate me, but yeah. in times I, I think that we like all of them. Yeah. Well, keep that smile and that will help a lot. All right. We're going to take a break and we'll come back and talk about more pleasant things. Stay with us. is being pretty close. Um, when was the last time you were in, in this country before? 1984. And you were here at the Olympics in Los yes. Angeles. Um, and then you went back and um, were they concerned you were going to defect in 1984? Were they worried about that, that you might stay here? You might try to stay here? Uh, I couldn't stay yeah. Did in they 1984 send? because I think the Romania was the only socialist country who came at the Olympic Games in 1984. Yeah. And they, did they send guards for you? Did they have police yeah. watching you to make sure you, you would stay? And then they didn't let you out of leave the country, did they? I mean, could you have left if you wanted to, to go to other events? No, I couldn't. How about Seoul in 1988? Were they? I wasn't there. Were you invited? Yes, I was invited. And did you feel, uh, did you feel like a prisoner? Did you, I mean... Something like this. Yeah. Did, um, but you led a pretty good life, I mean, in, in, relative to other Romanians. I mean, you, you lived in a nice home and drove a nice car. They, you were kind of a hero in that well, country, you weren't you? With the <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, they... I saw in TV that uh, I had a very uh, nice life in Romania, but uh, I had a servant. Didn't have, didn't have so servants, no. I buy my house. Mm -hmm. I didn't have money to buy my car. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave him and I must give back. <laughs> when I go to Romania. Oh, really? Yeah. So you, you may have been living perhaps better than others, but of course you were still living in Romania. No. Uh, just because people love me, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do the people, uh, did they feel that way? Did you, were you treated as a celebrity, as uh, uh, yes. someone famous as, yeah. and, and, and uh, by the other people? And may I ask you about another uh, gentleman, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chusescu, the younger uh, fellow. Uh, did, were you friends for a while? Were you? No, I just worked together with him in the same... Uh... He was your manager? No. He, no. He, he, no. <laughs> he, just, just, you were just working together? We just yeah. worked together for three years. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, now, now you're here. What's next for you? What, what would you like to do? Uh, I will do a movie about my life. Now, they made a movie about your life a couple of years ago, didn't they? Did, did you have anything to do with that? Did you know about that? Did you... At Onadia? Yeah. I think it was not complete. Did you ever see it? Yes. And what did you think about it? Was it? It's not quite true. Not quite true. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, this this next one will be uh, more yes. more accurate. Yes. Uh, and is it going to start? Next week. Is it good? Yes. Well, I, I hope it's. And then. I hope you're happy with it. Would you like to do commercials? Would you like to be on television? Would you like to? Uh, yes. Would you like to host a talk show? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I finish the movie, I will. Uh, come back in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. I want to be coach, the coach the American gym. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And, and what about you and Constantine? What kind of uh, 
future would, would do the two of you have? No future. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that pretty well answers that, I guess. <laughs> when, um... Or is that news to you, Constantine? No, no, no. <laughs> When word honey, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> when word uh, word got out that you were going to be here tonight, we received a call this morning from uh, from a gentleman in in Oklahoma City who asked if he could he, if he could stop by. It is someone I believe uh, you've uh, you've known for a, for a number of years, and he asked uh, wanted to come by and say hello. He is uh, an American uh, gold medal uh, gymnast, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to Bart Connor. Bart. Uh, what lovely flowers. Yeah. Go ahead, Bart. Well, we met, what, 15 years ago. 1981. Uh, yeah, it was actually even before that at the uh, Olympics. She doesn't remember me from the Olympics in 76 because she took first and I took 46. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, luckily, I had a good meet a couple years later. So this was in 70, 76? Right, you know? and uh, at the uh, Olympics in Montreal. And uh, that's, of course, where she scored a perfect 10 and uh, changed women's gymnastics forever, I really feel. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, a nice little greeting from... What, um... But Bart, when you're when you're in when you're competing in the Olympics, I know I know you you have to be very uh, aware of what's going on in your own life and your own mind, and I'm sure you're very focused on that. But can can you truly appreciate what the other athletes are doing here when you see a when you see a young lady like this? Person? Well, I think especially with Nadia because uh, she single-handedly I think rewrote the rule book in the sport of gymnastics. Her originality and her difficulty and her execution was so much better than what the world had seen that the judges had to completely revamp the rules to set new standards uh, just because of her. So we have a great deal of appreciation for someone who can completely dominate a sport like she did. When you're getting, uh, when you're getting tens, I guess it does, because where do you go from there? I guess it, did, did it change the way scoring was done? I only got three in my whole life. I oh. don't know how many did you get. I don't even know. She don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you lose count, that's good. Well, you, you had a ten or two yourself. Yes, and luckily at, at the right time in the Los Angeles Olympics. Yeah, that was, uh, that was quite a time. But I, made, I wanted to stop by to, uh, to welcome you because I know that your introduction here to America has been uh, uh, less than great and uh, it has been difficult for you and to leave your homeland and to come here and on behalf of the athletes, uh, we want to welcome you and tell you we love you and appreciate all that you've done for our sport. Okay. So we're full of surprises here. Have you had... Have you had enough surprises for one evening? You have one more? No. <laughs> no. Fortune. No, that's that's about it. I think. I think. I think that. You enjoying uh, life these days? Uh, doing yes. uh, doing the television work and all yeah, that. Yeah, I really like working as a sports commentator. Yeah. It really do, is good fun. Do the two of you? Do, do each of you? Do you miss competing? Is that difficult to ever get out of your system? Do you wish you could? We're still competing, Nadia. Do, do you miss competing athletically? Yes. Very much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what? You just you just watch now? Do you? What do you still? Uh, what What do you do in the? Do you have some, oh. you have some equipment installed at home? <laughs> <laughs> I do for me some exercise, but I miss because I can't do now because I'm too old for oh. the last 